Why are you putting ketchup on the pizza? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't put broccoli in pad thai at all. Sort of like put my hands on his side like this. <laughs> That's just like. <laughs> You saw me keep seeing my IG story for a four day, remember? Yeah, that was so weird! And that's why I'm not going to do IG for a long time. I'm going to do IG for a long time. Hello, welcome back to the page again. I'm going to show you a video. This video, we're going to talk about culture again. I'm going to talk about culture shock. คือประมาณเดือนเดือนอะไรวะเออนั่นแหะทุกคนสกอตเขาก็มาเมืองไทยนะคะแล้วก็ไปเที่ยวด้วยกันแล้วก็พาบริตนี่มาด้วยนะคะเดี๋ยวเรามาดูกันซิว่าฝรั่งมาเมืองไทยเดี๋ยวเขามีเคาน์เตอร์ช็อกอะไรบ้างว่าแบบเฮ้ยอยู่ทำไมอยู่ทำแบบนี้อะไรอย่างนี้เดี๋ยวเรามาคุยกันนะคะ Let's welcome Scott and b r i t n e Thank you, Pets, for having us. As some of you may already know, I've been to Thailand a few times over the past couple of years. Brittany, however, has just gone for her first time last month, so some of these culture shocks are a little bit bigger of a deal for her. And I'm going to share some things that I've picked up over the past few years. Okay, so what is your first thing? First one is from a few years ago. I think it was my first trip to Thailand, and I had never seen this before. So uh, Petra was waiting by an elevator for us to go like up to take the BTS, and I was waiting maybe about like 10 feet away from her using my phone, just kind of like minding my own business, waiting for the elevator to come down. And Petra wanted me to come uh -huh. closer to her so that she could say something to me. So she gestured like, "Come here," like this. But she didn't say anything, so she just did this with her hand. And for us as Americans, like this would maybe just be kind of like a a funny way to wave at someone. Hi, Pet. Pet. Hi, Pet. Pet. Really? I just look up from my phone, like. <laughs> and, and, and then Pet just kind she kind of rolls her eyes and looks at me like, come on. And then I'm like, hello. <laughs> And then finally, she just looks at me and goes, "Come here." And I go, "Oh, okay." <laughs> and I walk over to her, and she goes, "You know what this means?" And I was like, "Hello." <laughs> so in in the USA, we would we would gesture like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you told me you told me like do something like this. Right, right, right. Okay, Brittany, do you have anything you want to talk about? This one is very obvious. The big one? Yeah, the big one. The big one? The horrifying one. We need to use in the highlight to bait people to keep watching because it's so scary. I I think I know what it is. You guys put ketchup on pizza. And that's weird. There's no storytelling here. <laughs> no, I'm just having a story. I, th I thought you'd do some build up, like, yeah. so we, we went to Pattaya. No, no, no. <laughs> we were with a bunch of friends, mm. and everyone around us started putting ketchup packets. It's the worst storytelling. <laughs> what? No, I mean, what would it mean? Well, well, I think, you know, we, we ordered pizza, like, as a group, and, and yeah. Brittany was expecting to sit down and eat pizza the way that we do in America. You know, you just grab a slice out of the box and start eating, but everybody, it was sort of like this, like, weird cult that we were invited into, where everybody, like, ceremoniously grabbed their ketchup packet and started ripping. <laughs> And Brittany's looking around like, what do you put on the pizza? What is that? Do, do I need to do I need to put that on my pizza? And then uh, she realizes it's ketchup. So she's like, why are you putting ketchup on the pizza? <laughs> I don't know. Don't, don't we have something like that? That's sort of the other way around. Oh, 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 oh the pad thai. There's a bunch of vegetables. Yes, and all yeah. Thai. So like in in the USA, we uh, with pad thai, we have like carrots and broccoli and things like that. What? We don't put broccoli in pad thai at all. Yeah, no, you do not. Okay, Rini, do you miss Thailand now? Yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. Do you think you will feel familiar when you come back here again? What was that? Can you repeat it? Familiar. <laughs> familiar. <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> familiar. Fa familiar. Fa familiar. 
family hurt. Family hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, just a second. I need a help. This is hard, you know. I always have this problem. Familiar. 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 Ah. Yeah, will you feel familiar <laughs> when you come back here again? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you like the <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, I am still learning how to pronounce like R in English. That's like R and L is a big problem for me. You know? Me too. ใช่ค่ะทุกคนคือเพชรมีปัญหาการออกเสียง R กับ L เนี่ยภาษาอังกฤษมากๆเลยนะคะตอนนี้ก็พยายามฝึกอยู่นะคะ Familiar 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 พอได้ไหมคะใครนะคะที่มีปัญหากับการออกเสียงภาษาอังกฤษคนที่ไหนฝรั่งงงว่าเอ๊ะเธอกำลังพูดคำว่าอะไรอยู่หรือว่าบางคนที่ติดสำเนียงไทยอยากจะพัฒนาสำเนียงของตัวเองให้เป็นเจ้าของภาษามากขึ้นนะคะแอปเอลซ่าก็ช่วยได้เลยนะคะอย่างเพชรตอนนี้เนี่ยมีปัญหา R กับ L ใช่ไหมคะแอปเอลซ่าค่ะก็มีให้เราได้เรียนรู้การฝึกออกเสียงด้วยนะคะเออเออเออเออและเขายังมีเลสเซนนะคะบทเรียนให้เราได้ฝึกพูดตั้งแต่ระดับง่ายกลางไปจนยากเลยนะคะ Run around Run around นี่เขาก็จะมี AI ตรวจจับนะคะว่าเราสามารถออกเสียงได้ดีหรือยังถ้าได้ดีนะคะก็ขึ้นมาเลยว่ายอดเยี่ยมถ้าเกิดพูดเร็วไปก็ช้าหน่อย Get ready for work Get ready for work ยอดเยี่ยมถ้าเกิดอยากจะรู้นะคะว่าเราออกเสียงได้ขนาดไหนนะคะกดที่ระดับสูงเนี่ยเขาก็ขึ้นมาให้ดูเลยนะว่าสีแดงนะเรายังออกเสียงไม่ถูกนะสีเขียวเนี่ยโอเคแล้วอะไรอย่างนี้เนาะอ่ะเพชรขอมา challenge ตัวเองหน่อยละกันเป็นระดับแบบระดับ3ไปเลย The sky is clear ฉันเกลียดตัวอารนี่อยู่ข้างหลังมาเลย The sky is clear 78% ก็ถือว่าได้อยู่ปะวะ Get some fresh air Get some fresh air นี่ถ้าระดับปกติเนี่ยข้างหลังเราถูกนะแต่ถ้าเป็นระดับสูงเนี่ยมันก็จะขึ้นมาเลยว่าโอเคตรงไหนยังควรที่จะต้องปรับปรุงอยู่เนี่ยค่ะทุกคนก็สามารถมาฝึกการออกเสียงได้เลยนะคะเขามีให้ฝึกหลายแบบเลยเนาะจะเป็นตัวที่มีปัญหาเขาก็มีบทเรียนมาให้นะคะหรือว่าอยากจะรู้ว่าคําแต่ละคำเนี่ยออกเสียงยังไงก็เข้าไปดูที่พจนานุกรมได้แล้วเขาก็ยังมีฟีเจอร์อื่นอื่นอีกมากมายที่ทุกคนสามารถเข้าไปลองเล่นกันดูได้เลยนะคะและพิเศษค่ะเพชรก็มีส่วนลดมาให้สําหรับคนที่อยากจะฝึกการออกเสียงภาษาอังกฤษมาด้วยนะคะใครนะคะที่อยากจะเออทดลองใช้สัก7วันก่อนดูซิว่าเอลซ่าเนี่ยจะช่วยพัฒนาระดับภาษาอังกฤษเราได้มากน้อยแค่ไหนเพชรจะแปะลิงก์ไว้ให้ที่กล่องข้อความด้านล่างแล้วก็พินคอมเมนต์นะคะใครอยากจะใช้ฝึกออกเสียงตลอดชีพเลยนะคะมีส่วนลดมาให้ถึง 85% หรือใครอยากจะลองใช้สักปีหนึ่งก่อนก็มีส่วนลด 40% มาให้เช่นเดียวกันนะคะเพชรก็มีลิงก์มาให้เหมือนกันนะคะที่เดิมเลยค่ะกล่องข้อความหรือที่พินคอมเมนต์ไปลองจิ้มๆลองใช้กันดูได้นะคะได้ทั้งใน iOS และก็ Android เลยค่ะ It's a great way for English learners to practice just 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue. What is your next culture shock? Mm. <laughs> Bike. 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 <laughs> so, okay, uh, let me set it up and then you can continue because okay. uh, you're terrible at story setup. <laughs> Put in culture pack. <laughs> I hadn't been to Thailand in maybe like two or three years, so I kind of forgot. But uh, we had a like a taxi bike come to drive us to the BTS. w i n m o t o r c y c l e So I was on the back of this guy, and the first thing I did, because this is what we do in the USA, is sort of like put my hands on his side like this. <laughs> and and I know that normally you hold on to the back, and I knew that, but I forgot because it's been so long. And I imagined that his feeling was like. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he didn't say anything. But but what we were joking about later on is like well, you know when we were at the restaurant later talking about how if I had just started like that and then by the end of the ride I just like. <laughs> That's what we do here when we're riding motorcycles. We hold on to the. Back of the motorcycle. Uh huh. Driving like this. Uh huh. Well, I also remember yeah. the first time when I visited Thailand and I did it to you. You had said something like, "Hey, uh, <laughs> you know, normally we just hold on to this thing in the back." Because yeah. <laughs> I think you probably were like, "Why is my friend like holding me?" <laughs> I think for for us, 
it's not it's not something strange or something weird but i think we normally don't like touch people much because you are like a boy and then and right. you like hold my my wrist and i yeah but in my mind i didn't know what else to do i was like if i don't hold on to her i'm just gonna topple off the back of the thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you know, but for someone else, you, they don't. Oh, they don't oh if somebody know else sees are, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, somebody may like misunderstand. Okay, what else? Yeah, one thing that's different that we don't do here is like Thai people would ask like your age, like if you're older or younger, so like they can like address you by that. <laughs> <laughs> like um, P P K. Well, P and then their name. <gasps> So like, uh, like, no, uh, yeah, we don't do that here. <laughs> you don't care if someone is older or younger than you, something like that. Yeah, there's no like uh, level of like respect in that sense. Like everyone is just sort of you see them like equal regardless of older or younger. There's no sense of like addressing them formally in that way or anything. Do you have anything else? One thing that's just a small thing is that um, Thai people don't use their phone numbers to text each other. I think we are at Starbucks. I was with Dwight P with her boyfriend and Brittany, and uh, we were planning to meet with you. I said like, oh, can you just message her? And she said, oh, I don't have her line ID. But I, okay. I said like, why don't you just text her? And she said like, oh, we don't do that. Culture shock, I guess. I'm confused. So you guys just call on the number? Well, they use line to message somebody, or maybe Facebook or something. I have one thing. You saw me keep seeing my IG story for a whole day, remember? Yeah, that was so weird. That was creepy. <laughs> She's checking her Instagram story. She wasn't even looking at the people that like interacted with it or anything like that, or how many people viewed it. <laughs> Looking at herself, it was like this weird, like it was like looking at yourself in the mirror or something like that. She's like, There I am, <laughs> and that's what I did today. It's just strange, like, I've never seen anything like that's, that. That's just not a touch thing, uh, it might just be a touch thing, but she said, it's, she said it's normal. She said people in Thailand just do that. Because like normally yeah. if I check my story, like I swipe up and I'm like, oh, okay, like this many people watched it, this many people voted this. But Patch is just looking at herself like I went to the mall today, <laughs> I got lunch with my friends, I rode a bike. It's like the strangest thing. It's like she needs a refresher to remind herself of like all the great things she did that day. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's not just me, but a lot of Thai people do this here. I yeah. don't I don't know why too, but like we keep seeing our IG story. For the whole day. Yeah, but then half of you like ignore messages too. So it's like it's like like a Thai person will respond to me like one day late because they're so busy looking at themselves on their Instagram story. <laughs> Oh like, yeah. It's so like, acceptable to take pictures out of the Right, right. Do so, you know how in like Siam Square One, like everybody's taking selfies for uh -huh. Instagram and yeah, everything? Yeah, yeah. In our area of the USA, if you see somebody like taking a photo in like a big city like Boston or New York, you'll probably have like a security officer come over and be like, keep it moving. Yeah, no photos here. This is a public area. And like people like find it to be like annoying. Yeah, like, yeah. Something. And if you're if you have like a camera, like a real <laughs> camera, guaranteed a homeless guy will walk over to you and be like, what's your filming for? What's that for? And he'll like ask you like what the fo what you're gonna do with the photos and like interview you about like it's so strange. Mm -hmm. Like in Thailand, you can just take photos and people are like, yeah, they're taking pictures for Instagram. Okay, actually, we still have so many lists to talk about. Yeah. So if you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Mm. A thumbs up. <laughs> I don't usually speak in English. Huh? <laughs> That's okay. จริงๆแล้วนะคะเรายังมีลิสต์อีกเยอะมากเลยเกี่ยวกับเค้าเจอร์ช็อคที่ฝรั่งมีกับประเทศไทยของเรานะคะแต่ว่าวันนี้เรา